Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, welcome to this last Sunday of the liturgical year in which we celebrate here our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the universe. You know, the call, very culmination of the liturgical year as we look forward to a second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and uh, hopefully bring, take, uh, go with Him to heaven. And so let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of the universe, grant, we pray, that the whole creation, set free from slavery, may render your majesty service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Samuel. In those days, all the tribes of Israel came to David in Hebron and said, Here we are, your bone and your flesh. In days past, when Saul was our king, it was you who led the Israelites out and brought them back. And the Lord said to you, You shall shepherd my people Israel and shall be commander of Israel. When all the elders of Israel came to David in Hebron, King David made an agreement with them there before the Lord, and they anointed him king of Israel. The word of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house. I rejoiced because they said to me, We will go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. 
Jerusalem built as a city with compact unity to it the tribes go up the tribes of the Lord let us go According to the decree for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. In it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, let us give thanks to the Father who has made you fit to share in the inheritance of the Holy Ones in light. He delivered us from the power of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sin. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him were created all things in heaven and on earth, the visible and the invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he himself might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile all things for him, making peace by the blood of his cross, through him, whether those on earth or those in heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the kingdom of our fathers, David, that is to come. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The rulers sneered at Jesus and said, He saved others, let him save himself, if he is the chosen one, the Christ of God. Even the soldiers jeered at him. As they approached to offer him wine, they called out, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. Above him there was an inscription that read, This is the king of the Jews. Now one of the criminals hanging there reviled Jesus, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. The other, however, rebuking him, said in reply, Have you no fear of God, for you are subject to the same condemnation? And indeed, we have been condemned justly, for the sentence we receive corresponds to our crimes. But this man has done nothing criminal. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied to him, Amen, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The most blessed solemnity of our Lord Jesus Christ, the King of the universe. Always gives me chills, that last line in the Gospel today. Though that line that we all wish to hear so very much. Amen, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Well, today we do have this last Sunday of the church year, the solemnity of Christ the King, anticipating uh, in our liturgical year, at the end of our liturgical year, the coming of Christ uh, at the end of time. As, uh, when, as the prophet Daniel related, uh, relates in his uh, uh, 
and his uh, prophecies, all peoples, nations, and language will serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion. It is the time coming when God will be all in all. Everything for everyone who has loved God, followed his commandments, followed his moral laws, and loved his neighbor as himself. Those who have followed that two, those two great commandments, of not only the Old Testament, but of Jesus in the New Testament. And we have to remember, you know, some people think it's a little morbid to think it, but each hour is one hour closer. One day nearer. And as much as people try to make it so, this world, this life, is not our final end. Thanks be to God. Gracias a Dios. We are simply on this road to our final end. Just as the Exodus Israelites, as I mentioned last week, traversed the harshness of the desert. But what we do in the here and now has eternal repercussions and eternal benefit. And the mechanics of what will happen when Jesus comes, you know, people will get concerned with numbers, you know, the so-called left behind, etc., etc. That really matters little, because what God decrees will happen regardless. And we don't have to worry about the, all the mechanics of the end times. We just have to be ready to board the train. And Jesus himself knows that we cannot know when he will come. So we'll always be ready. Simply love God with your whole heart, mind, and soul, and strength, and your neighbor as yourself. Follow this way of Christ. Because all that we do in our lives is our choice. It's our free will. We can do or not. And with it comes that capacity of decision. With that free will comes the capacity of decision that gives our lives an eternal character. Otherwise, we would simply be robots. So God gives us this free will to choose Him or not. And thus we remember the book of Sirach, if you will, if you will it, you can keep the commandments, and to act faithfully is a matter of your own choice. Before a man are life and death, and whatever, whichever he chooses will be given him. For great is the wisdom of the Lord, and he knows every deed of man. And so let us live that life of Jesus. Let us follow him with our whole hearts. Because heaven is not golden streets. It's not you know, bored angels strumming on, on harps on, perched on clouds for all eternity. Heaven is being enfolded into God our Creator, who, is, who will fill the emptiness that we all have within us here on this earth. It is the end of our separateness so as to come together with God and with our fellow faithful in the absolute immersion of the love for which we are created. And so let us all strive to hear those beautiful words, Amen, I say to you, you will be with me today in paradise. And together, let us recite our creed of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life 
who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And as we celebrate the, in the anticipation the coming of Christ the King, let us now bring to, uh, to our Lord our needs and our petitions this day. For the Church, the Body of Christ, that it be a leaven of hope for all the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the world, that all who govern tend first to the needs of the poor, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For prisoners and those condemned to death, that they be reconciled to God and know peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the sick, especially those with terminal illness, that their nearness to God bring them healing and hope, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the members of this worshiping assembly, that their faith in the resurrection cast out all fear, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pause now to remember any intentions you want to include in this Mass, either spoken or in your hearts. For all of those, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray always for the end of child sexual abuse in our church, our nation, and the world. For the healing of all his victims, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Almighty God, we come to you today in anticipation of the coming of our, your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the universe. Help us and guide us always to do what is truly right and just in his sight, that we too uh, may come to you at the end of our lives. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hand, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. As we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that your Son himself may bestow on all nations the gifts of unity and peace, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness, as eternal priest and King of all creation, so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross, as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption, and making all created things subject to his rule, he might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and uni universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love, and peace. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Uh, 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. When we eat this bread and drinking this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and John our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, 
you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Grant us Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not Lord worthy that you should Jesus enter under my roof, but only Lord, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive honor and glory. Worthy are the ones who believe to receive the goodness of God. Worthy are you, O bread of life, salvation and joy belong now to us by conquering death and rising to new life. We become a people of Let us pray. Having received the food of immortality, we ask, O Lord, that glorify, uh, glorying in obedience to the commands of Christ, the King of the universe, we may live with him eternally in his heavenly kingdom, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Just a wonderful uh, end, of, end of the liturgical year for you, and just to have a, hope, a happy and blessed Advent as we begin Advent next Sunday. And just to be safe, and the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Christ Jesus be